The purpose of the project really is to give the scientists a local facility to test in our region to create scientific research data so that then they can disseminate that information out to the public and help provide statistical and scientific information on how to build net zero houses in the future. So again, we could do the house in a very contemporary design, a whole lot simpler than what we're doing with the two-story residential. Uh, but they wanted to try to make it very similar to what you'd see in the suburbs. This is the process where we went through the blower door test and set the building up. We had to seal up all the windows and door openings to be able to run that initial test. But again, we were setting the baseline standard for the weather barrier before we moved to any other element of the project. Because what we're going to be doing throughout the course of construction at various stages is when we run the blower door test again, and then compare how those blower door test results compare to the initial baseline. So right now, the test results you're going to see are the best they will ever get on the house. As I put in the doors and the windows, and I put on the siding materials, that, that rating is going to drop a little bit. But again, when you see how it comes out, they ran the test, and success. <laughs> success beyond our wildest dreams. And this is the NIST actual results. It came in one-tenth of what the specs required, which was phenomenal. None of the design consultants, all of the researchers, we have a whole research team out there of PhD candidates and some PhDs that are studying the house as we're constructing it. So besides having the NIST people, we have NIST facilities people oversight with us and the design team and lead consultant. We've got 30 researchers asking all kinds of questions about this site. Uh, but the interesting thing was here, this was it, uh, that initial weather barrier test. And again, one-tenth of the standard um, is less than 3% of the Build America target. So again, everybody was very, very pleased with this. As you look at the roof assembly, similar to the wall assembly, except we're going to 5 inches of rigid, we're going to 11 inches of cellulose, and then we're going to the total R value of the roof at an R75. So again, highly, very tight, highly insulated structure is the way that really they're achieving some of the efficiencies. You can start to see the intensity of the ductwork runouts that runs through. Every room has its own dedicated supply in return, so we're not using or utilizing uh, undercuts of doors, transfer grills between rooms. There's actually dedicated supply in return. Uh, but there are some redundant systems. You'll see several series of air handlers. There's some future air handlers that will allow them to be able to add an additional unit in at a future date. Um, the duct system can be switched between floor registers and ceiling registers. So at different times of the year, it'll switch over and push the air either from the ceiling or from the floor, depending on which season. So again, a lot of extra additional mechanical going in, but again, it, making it the most efficient way to use that energy. This is the hot water solar system with the collectors on the roof. <laughs> Running through the exchanger here, which takes the domestic hot water, runs it through, extracts the energy, heats the water, circulates it back. And then this loop up here on the roof, because it's got the uh, antifreeze in it, so it's not freezing, it just continually cycles through that loop system. Uh, and then it goes down into the heaters here, where it's mainly storage tanks or anything else. And, uh, we're using the nice heat pump uh, for that as well. You can see we're in the process of putting shingles on the roof. The plywood barrier or the plywood covering on top of the insulation board is now in place, so they're papering down the roof, rolling out the shingles, and getting those put in place. The garage was detached. We're in the midst of framing of that and putting the weather barrier on, so in pretty short order, the garage is going to be closed. And we're going to be starting on windows and door installation. You can see we've already got some that we're in the process of putting in. Uh, so again, you're seeing stuff that's uh, probably here within the last week of construction. Mm -hmm. 